here it is, Monday uh, the 9th, and I'll tell you, it's been nine solid days since I've embarked on this journey of doing a daily video blog. I'm doing it mostly because it's something I've always wanted to do, and it's something I had actually discussed with my mother back in the summer of 2016 as something that we together were going to collaborate on because she had such a great and amazing personality and still does in my mind. That's where she lives. She did pass away in September. And so... Uh, as she was on this medical journey uh, in her passing, I uh, spoke to her about halfway through the 22-day um, episode of health that she was in before she passed away. I told her that I wanted to do this in the 2017 year. So this daily video blog, blog that I'm doing, I am doing it in her memory and also f to live out my dream to do it. It's, uh, it's a unique, uh, aggressive, uh, sort of combination of uh, my talent and I really want to have a quality product and uh, just talk about anything and do everything um, and it's going to be something that um, hopefully will bring great opportunity in my life and I hope to have each day a better product and it's just for myself and for everybody out there that uh, wants to tune in. I'm really passionate like I've said before about uh, video in the air and aerial drone photography and videography to put that content and that media inside of the YouTube channel. This is a really good opportunity for me. I'm the right person, I believe, at the right time with all the technology around me. One of the things I did want to talk about super quick is, uh, you know, I've learned a lot, a tremendous amount. I talked to, for just under an hour yesterday, to Daniel Bolas, uh, the University of Hawaii, my professor back in 2010, 2011. He was my professor. And uh, we just had an amazing conversation. It was completely inspiring. And uh, he had some great insight. And he's also following my video blog. That was uh, just really fun to be able to talk to him after five years. We've emailed back and forth. but uh, um, And uh, where things are at today versus where they were when he was instructing me under my post-9-11 GI Bill when I was 39 years old. I was in college in Hawaii. It was a pretty good place to go, film school. This has been something I've always wanted to do. I'm 46 years old now, and, uh, you know, it's a beautiful day. Uh, snow is kind of the seasons here in Montana in January. It's a great way to uh, engage my mind, and I was and do have a background um, in journalism, not in terms of going to college and being a journalist, but in terms of uh, owning a newspaper for almost four years. And uh, the Whitefish Free Press back in 2003, December, is when that started. And that was a rack distributed, uh, almost just under 200 locations valley-wide. Um, so a lot of that uh, muscle memory is playing in this particular role that I'm on right now. And so it's very exciting for me to be able to engage on a daily basis and have a deadline. Um, but one of the things that I've learned in this entire mobile touch device world that we live in with technology and uploaded you know, algorithms and content that's multiple sourced, meaning I have GoPro I'm filming with, my phone sometimes, uh, Sony camera that you see there. Uh, well, you don't see it, but it's right in front of me. Um, multiple uh, media, this right here. Um, one of the things I've learned really quick is that everything is so instant. And so we do live in a five second world. And although my website that is uh, currently uh, live with most of my video, with all the video actually is relaxedchaos.com. I probably want to transfer that to mikecpotter.com. But I do have another website called visuallydriven.com and that was uh, and doesn't have anything on it at present time. But I think I'll have that as a secondary uh, landing spot for all the video. Um, and it's based on the idea that we live in a five second world. If you don't get to your waiting audience in five seconds, you're just pretty much lost in the sauce so it's going to be interesting and one of the conversations i had with daniel bolas at the university of hawaii's film school yesterday which was his first day back intercession uh before he embarks and he's uh he's like the head of the entire program as he said uh how do you get your information out there and how you actually set step yourself apart from the actual uh hundreds of thousands of videos that are uploaded every second on youtube um, so that'll be interesting. I just guess that uh, connecting to uh, my waiting audience on an emotional level, um, keeping it real, um, uh, not forcing anything, and just letting life happen as it unfolds in the video realm uh, with my life for the next year because I have about 358 uh, uh, videos left.
um, before the one year mark. So it's going to be a busy year for me. I'm really looking forward to this uh, journey, this challenge. Um, it can't fail in the sense that for it to fail would actually be failing my mother's name. In fact, I have two drones. The first one was last year's. I called that visually driven. The new one that I just got, um, which is going to be amazing in terms of what I'll be able to bring on a visual level to you guys, is uh, named uh, Shirley Jean in honor of my mother. And uh, so uh, the metaphor I'm drawing here is that there's no way that the channel will go down or that I won't be consistent. I did have to learn how to balance my time these last eight to nine days because I was a kind of late on one of the video, a couple of the videos in terms of posting like the next day. And so one of the things that uh, is very near and dear to my heart on this uh, mission that I'm on is it won't fail in the fact that I won't quit. I won't quit unless I die or I just decide to quit, which isn't even in my thinking. Because to quit this particular project would actually be quitting the memory of my mother and it would be a dishonor to her and to myself and to everybody that I'm asking to tune in that uh, they got the best of me this entire year. Thank you for... Uh, all the great comments I've got just in the last week. And one of the, the last thing I'll say is that I've learned more in this last six to 10 days in this entire, like, you know, first of the January 2017 month than I've ever learned in my life. And uh, it's funny because it's called, uh, there was a term that Daniel used, uh, Bullis, uh, at the uh, university yesterday morning while he was in Hawaii and I was here about a three or four hour time difference. It's called Project location learning where you just simply learn by doing rather than you know and that's a lot how I did the newspaper back in 2003 um, is it started out as an eight page black and white 16 by 20 high bright tab paper and then it turned into like a 24 to a 28 page full color a monster um, with like five employees so I just I didn't know anything in terms of journalism and cut lines and photo but I knew that I was real passionate about taking photos and imagery and I uh, updated the website on a weekly basis, and it just became a go-to in the community of Whitefish. And so a lot of people here in town, at least, remember me from that experience and that uh, journalism and uh, covering uh, and being a newspaper of record, um, attending city council and all that good stuff. But this is uh, not going to be really news-based, but it's going to be real flexible in terms of what I'm going to be covering, just fun life stuff as it happens. You know, I live in a ski resort town. There's lakes everywhere in the summer, uh, beautiful springs and wonderful, amazing falls, as um, you'll be able to see because you'll be dealing with four seasons. Um, right now, as you can tell, we're obviously in winter. So um, here I'll draw a little, you know, do a little of my first artwork here. Um, there's a smiley face with some eyebrows and a round circle. So I'm happy. It's happy. We're all happy. And uh, let's make the best of this. And uh, any feedback that I get is very critical in terms of the uh, blog uh, of record. Vlog, I should say. I still get that mixed up. And uh, good times at a high level. Thanks for everything. And I look forward uh, to getting a bunch of aerial video of this beautiful snow that is all over our town. And thanks a lot and enjoy.